When it comes to choosing CT cars, you'll only need three things. Small, simple, and fuel efficient. But this one, well, this doesn't use fuel at all. Hey guys, Jamil here from Auto Industria, and what I have for you is perhaps your stepping stone towards electric mobility. This is the Dongfeng Nano Box, and it's a five-door EV that you could have for under 900,000 pesos. But before anything else, please don't forget to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Now, the Dongfeng Nano Box is actually the smallest EV offering of Dongfeng Motor here in the country. It's actually a part of a very diverse lineup of new energy vehicles brought by the two distributors, Legado Motor and the Diamond EV Corp. But on the outside, the Dongfang Nano Box, well, it doesn't really look much of an EV. Let us know in the comments section down below what you think of the look. But really, the split headlight design with the bronze accents here, your LED DRLs, the crossover cladding here, well, it actually looks very normal for a small crossover. Size-wise, the Dongfeng Nano Box measures under 3.8 meters long, 1.6 meters wide, and around 1.5 meters tall. So it's actually in the same length as the Wego, the Brio, and the Celerio. But of course, this one is an EV. But it hides its EV self very well, unless you see the charging port that's here in the middle. But more on that later on. So the look itself, very conventional. You have 14-inch alloys on skinny tires. You also have your repeaters on your side mirrors. You have conventional door handles, as well as a roof rack and rear drum brakes. So now let's check out the back of the Dongfeng Nano Box. At the back, there's nothing really too striking about the Dongfeng Nano Box's design. Well, you have your conventional LED taillights, as well as a big Dongfeng badge in the middle, Nano Box on the right, and the EX1. The EX1 is actually what they call the Nano Box in China. Now, what else can we see? We have your third brake lamp here, vertical reflectors, as well as rear fog lights, which complements, you know, the crossover cladding with these black accents over here. As for cargo space, let's open this one up. And you have space for things around 17 inches long, 35 inches wide, and about 31 inches tall. Now, if you do need more space, you can extend that to around 45 inches in this configuration. What else can we find? Underneath here, you have your patching kit, so you don't have a spare tire, as well as your tow hooks and your tire wrench, together with the charging plug for the Dongfeng Nano Box. Now, let's check what's under the hood of the Dongfeng Nano Box. By now, you know the Dongfeng Nano Box is a battery electric vehicle. But you know what? There used to be an ICE engine underneath this engine bay. Well, that's because Renault adapted this platform for electrification. Yes, the Dongfeng Nano Box uses a Renault platform, which is why you'll see a lot of Renault branded components here. The headlight, the engine mounts, as well as a component here on the brakes. It's practically a twin of the Renault Quid and the Dacia Spring, which has been selling well in Europe as a CTEV. But going back, the electric motor puts out 45 PS, so that's about K-car levels. But the torque itself, 125 newton meters. So that's about the same level as your 1.3 or 1.5 naturally aspirated city cars is putting out. But of course, as an electric motor, it puts out its torque instantly. So which should be pretty fun for a less than 1,000 kilo car like this. As for recharging the battery, the charging port is actually located here in front. So when you see it, it actually has two charging ports. One is for DC fast charging, and the other one uses a GBT plug for AC charging purposes. But enough of that, let's head inside and check out the interior of the Dongfeng Nano Box. Since the Dongfeng Nano Box is a budget EV to begin with, you do have to manage your expectations once you step inside the vehicle. You see, there are a lot of hard plastics around and some of them are scratchy surfaces. But it still has a bit of character since, you know, it has these white trims as well as bronze accents as well as chrome on the door handle. So the execution, pretty good. Now, the steering wheel itself, 
flat at the top, flat at the bottom. It doesn't have steering wheel controls. But you do get a digital instrument cluster which shows you know, the state of charge as well as the speed, of course, and the energy we're consuming. Now, here in the middle, there's a bit of Chinese characters going on, but I think this is for your trip meter considering the figures. Now, we can cycle through the functions. This one shows your energy consumption, average speed, as well as the trip meter B. And even the Dongfeng Nano Box has 80 PMS, but it doesn't really show uh, the exact PSI of your tires. So moving on, we also have a touchscreen head unit. It doesn't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, so you're left with the CarBit Link, but it does have Bluetooth. And it's just enough that it functions as your infotainment screen. So car settings, not much you can configure here in the infotainment system. So you have manual air conditioning below, no climate control. So we also have power window switches here in the middle, your door lock, hazard button, and another button for the power window on the right. However, what I do wish the Dongfeng Nano Box had are more spaces for storage. For one, it doesn't have a glove compartment. So it also doesn't have an armrest. So you're left with the storage pockets on the doors, the cup holders, and a little cubby here where you can place your phone. But still, as an electric vehicle, you'll find things that are very familiar when you compare it to an ICE. We have a mechanical parking brake, and you also have, in fact, a physical key. So to start the Dongfeng Nano Box, you have to do it like a normal ICE. So you have to switch it to accessory mode, then turn it on, it's gonna beep a bit. And then, so no sort of the starter engaging, but once it says okay, then you're good to go. You also have a rotary shifter here, which only has neutral, drive, and reverse. That's about it here. Let's check out the back seat. Here at the back, well, there's really not much to see. Uh, Space-wise, it's comfortable for my size, but for long drives, I think two passengers can only sit comfortably since the car is not very wide. You have bench seats, so no 60-40 spit folding, and it doesn't even have grab handles up top since I think it's not gonna go past 100, so they didn't bother putting one. So you have power windows at the back, as well as seat pockets, which are a little flimsy. But for child seats, we have ISOFIX anchors. But that's about it here at the back. So let's go out and drive the Dongfeng Nano Box. So now we're on the road with the Dongfeng Nano Box. My initial impressions, well, it's actually very eager to go. I mean, the electric motor delivers the torque instantly, so all you have to do is step on it. And at slow speeds, it's gonna accelerate pretty quickly. <laughs> and you know, it has a very small size, so it's lang to see it. So the ride itself is also very typical of your um, small crossover. So it doesn't actually feel like a golf cart when you're driving it. it. actually feels more like a small crossover with its manners. It rides pretty well. Just a bit of interior rattles here and there, but nothing too major to worry about. But yeah, it's really fun to drive around at slow speeds with the Dongfeng Nano Box. But the Dongfeng Nano Box is also something that you can take to the nearby provinces. For example, Bulacan, Pampanga, or somewhere down south in Batangas or Laguna and still have enough range, enough juice to make it back home in Manila because it's rated at around 330 kilometers. So, yeah, the back and forth trip would be covered by the Dongfeng Nano Box. Now, when it comes to charging the Dongfeng Nano Box, it actually charges fairly quick for its home charger because, you know, I've tried it myself. I had the car at 50% when I first got it and I was able to charge it at around 95% in just 4 hours using the home charger. So when you leave it overnight, even if you end up using all the juice, the Nano Box 
could fully charge its batteries overnight. Now, that's a different story when you take it to the malls because it's going to charge a lot faster, you know. This one has a GBT plug, so some malls already have it. It's not as popular as the Type 2 chargers, but it's a good thing that you can still visit some malls, plug this one in, and after you go ch shopping, the Nano Box is topped up and ready to go. Now, the question most of you would want to know is, what's the difference between running an EV and an ICE when it comes to the cost? Well, it's actually pretty big. With the Dongfeng Nano Box, it has a 28 kilowatt hour battery. So in today's energy rate, it's 12 pesos per kilowatt hour. So 28 times 12, it's gonna cost you around 300 pesos thereabouts to fully charge up the Dongfeng Nano Box. And with the full charge of Dongfeng Nano Box, it's enough to take you to travel around 300 kilometers. So 300, shelling out 300 pesos in travel 300 kilometers, that's actually pretty cheap. Now let's compare it to a normal ICE car that does 10 kilometers per liter. So you're gonna need around 30 liters of fuel, travel the same distance. So that's 30 liters right now times 60, gonna cost you well 1800 pesos so 1800 pesos versus somewhere 300 pesos that's a pretty big difference now the Dongfeng nano box who is it for well i think it's for individuals who are based on the metro who will need to travel short distances on the daily comfortably and at the same time have a car that could take them to the provinces and spend the weekend there and have enough juice to make it back to the metro for another work with. So can the Nano Box serve as your primary vehicle for the metro? Definitely. But if you're the one who's traveling long distances, then you're better off choosing the Nano Box as an alternative. You know, when you're just traveling short distances, this one is ideal. For long distances, you may still be better off with a hybrid or even a full ICE to do the job for you. So as long as you understand the limitations of the Dongfeng Nano Box, then you'll really see it as a good proposition especially in terms of pricing. And with that, let's head back to the warehouse. The Dongfeng Nano Box, well, it's not going to be the complete package. After all, being a city car, it has its own limitations. There are some features you look for in this vehicle that it doesn't have. But in terms of the essentials, it is there. It's simple. It's economical since it's an EV. And for 888,000 pesos, you can have a five-door EV that's very cheap to run and comes with a five-year, 150,000-kilometer warranty. So what do you think of the Dongfang Nano Box? Let us know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Jamil Lacuna of AutoIndustria.com. Thank you for watching.